Now, the third area that we need to heighten our self-awareness is our focus. Or what I'm actually going to call the ability to refocus. Because I don't know that it's a realistic expectation in today's day and age to have long periods of uninterrupted, sustained focus. We just have too many things vying for our attention. Many of which are on those devices that most people choose to be tethered to 24-7. But what we can develop is the ability to refocus the lens. Anytime we find ourselves distracted, our mind wandering, or we're not present, we need to refocus the lens. And it does always start with awareness. For anyone taking notes right, down, right now, write this down. Awareness is always the first step to improvement. You know how I know that? You'll never improve something you're unaware of, and you will never fix something you're oblivious to. So the moment you can shine a light of awareness on something is the moment that you can start to take progressive steps to move forward. So you know how we improve our ability to be focused? We have an awareness of when we're unfocused, of when our mind wanders and when we're distracted. So what is it that I want you all to focus on? Once again, for those taking notes, write this acronym down, W-I-N. I learned this from Lou Holtz, the former Hall of Fame football coach at Notre Dame. The acronym is W-I-N and it stands for what's important now. In any given moment of any given day, you should be able to take a deep breath, take a beat, take a pause and ask yourself, am I choosing to place my attention in what I believe is most deserving of it in this moment? I'm going to say that again because it's that important. Any given moment of any given day, you take a beat, you take a pause, you take a breath, and you ask yourself, am I choosing to place my attention in what I believe is most deserving of it in this moment? And what we're talking about there is the ability to be present. Now, the short definition of be present, I heard this from Oprah, and I heard this from Nick Saban, the Hall of Fame football coach at Alabama. And I figure if both of those people are saying it, it has to be true. And that is, you got to learn how to be where your feet are. Be where your feet are. Wherever your feet are, make sure that's where your head and your heart are as well. 